Hello and welcome back, travellers of YouTube. Your journey is at its end. You have arrived at your destination, that being my video. Hello and welcome back. You've caught me on the way to my ore tripling facility to drop over here and stop off and put all my ores into my new ore tripling facility, the Mechanism Lab. So let's head on over and get stuck in with this week's episode, which is going to focus around mine colonies. We've ignored our colony for a long time now, so this episode we're going to jump over and get stuck in and uh, see if we can help these villagers out in their quest to become a sustainable little colony. Okay, right, so we've got our system over here. I'm going to need to put a hopper in there on top. And then what that should do is if I put all of the ores that I have in here, they'll get sucked into the hopper. The hopper will then put them through the machines and everything should be okay. Now the big problem we have at the moment is the fact we've only got one little wind generator powering this whole setup. And that just ain't going to cut the mustard. It's not quite enough to get all of these machines working at peak efficiency. They are working, however, slowly in the background and we are getting what we want very, very slowly. It's just going to take some time. However, another cool thing is we've got six all the modium ingots and two nuggets. So we'll go and uh, put those away somewhere and worry about that later. We're going to do some stuff that will make it easier for us to find even more all the modium. Apparently that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to use your first all the modium to get more all the modium. And you know what? When you say it like that, it makes a lot of sense. That's exactly how it should be. Oh, now I've come over to this mine colony uh, a bit a bit pre-cocked. What's the word? Uncocked? Half, co half cocked. That's the one. Not full cocked. Yeah, I've come over to the colony full cocked because I haven't got my build tools. So I've got to find my mine colony stuff before I go over there and get stuck in with the colony. Now, mine colonies has been a real pain in the butt because it uses so many different types of materials. It uses all kinds of different woods and buttons and trapdoors and slabs, and uh, it can become a real pain to get started with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over there with some of the bits and bobs that I'll need. I'll go over there with a saw as well, so I can chop down some of the nearby trees and get even more of the materials that I need. Jungle log, oak stairs, spruce, sticks, oak fence, all this stuff might come in handy. There it is, there's the bad boy. And we're going to use this thing to chop down most of the forest so that we have enough room to build our colony. Great stuff. Okay, let's head on over there and start digging down some trees. So the things you need for a mine colony are quite simple. We've only got the town hall and the builder's hut. Those are very important. But these workers need a bunch of other things to survive, to basically thrive. And as you can see, as we come over, there are three rude dudes sitting in the town hall being lazy. Honestly, get those Christmas hats off, you scum. Christmas was long ago. Crack the whip. Get back out there. Haddock, I'm going to throw you into the water and see if you can swim like the fish you are, Jeff. That's right, Selena F. Gold. Gold. More like uh, lead or copper. You're copper. That's what you are to me, Selena. And don't get me started, Dumas, about your lazy... Oh, now I feel bad. Uh, okay, right, yeah. So what do these guys need? There is apparently, you guys have kept saying in the comments section a number of things. And what I'll do is I'll go over the comments that you guys have suggested as soon as I get these guys going on their next build. And maybe we can watch the build in the background while we go over the comments. But let's have a quick sleep because it looks like it's getting late. <clears throat> you guys also mentioned that some of the building styles that I've chosen uh, rely on the buildings being on stilts or raised from above the ground. And as you can see, yeah, we had a mistake with our town hall. The guy spent like about an hour digging ditches just so that he could have enough room to build, and it really sucked. So we're going to try and dodge that in future. Whew, okay. So if we look at mine colonies, at mine colonies, there is apparently something called a clipboard. That's a flag banner. Where is the clipboard? A decoration controller. A clipboard. And what this bad boy is supposed to do is show us all of the needs that our colonists have. And honestly, to start with, you can't go wrong if you just spend all of your time 
working on what your colonists' needs are. Once all their needs are fulfilled, you can start working on building up the colony to be something a bit more. But they're going to be happier, more efficient, better at what they're doing if they have all of their needs met. Now where is my build tool? I put my build tool somewhere. It's like a weird lollipop looking thing. Maybe a knife might come in handy. You run faster with one for sure. There is the build tool. Perfecto mundo. So there's also going to be some buildings from Mine Colony that we're going to need to make. Uh, and I'm going to put these on the left so that we have them to hand. A house might come in handy, but a tavern, a courier's hut for sure. A uh, fisher's hut is great for food, apparently. Forest's hut we will need at one point. But what I'm looking for, oh, warehouse, definitely. What I'm really looking for is the tavern. Where is the tavern? Oh, there's a lot of these. There's a lot of buildings. Man, this this is... Mine Colonies has gone through a lot of changes. Tavern. Oh my god, there's so many. So many different Mine Colonies buildings. This is nuts. Last time I played it was in all the mods 3. And there were like a fraction of these. You can even have an apiary. That's very, very cool. Mystical site. What the hell, a graveyard? So, Tavern. Tavern is the big one. This will give us, I think you guys said it gives us like three or four slots that are like houses that, that town people can stay in before we get them an actual house. So how do we make them a tavern? You need a vertical barrel, wood, the rest of it. Bam! Forester's Hut comes off the list. And now we can hightail it over there and start planting down some locations for where we want these buildings to get built. Now another thing I mentioned is that we need some space over here. We've got a lot of space, but we need even more. And you can see some of these trees look very out of place. And that was because I needed these woods, the woods that these things create, to get the houses built. But now I'm, now I'm going to build them. I can chop them down. And I've got an empty backpack to put all of my wood in. Perfect. So I know a lot of you guys have said you really love the aesthetic, the look of these lavender fields. So don't worry, we're not going to get rid of too many of these flowers. We're going to try and keep this kind of lavender meadow effect with the colony and try and build it within the lavender meadow and fill in the gaps like replant down cherry trees and stuff to keep the look of this forest going on. Because like you, I'm a big fan. That's kind of why we built out here, because it looks so amazing. Okay, that's all the spruce trees done, and we've cleared ourselves a quite large space out here. Definitely enough to put down the tavern. So let's head to the town hall, have a kip in our sleeping bag, and tomorrow we can get about meeting the needs of these very difficult to please townies. Rise and shine down here at, what was this colony called? Honey Hollow? I think it was Honey Hollow. Hollow Honey? Honey Hollow. Oh, no caps. <laughs> oh, we've got to change that. Wait, it's got caps here. I don't believe this. We've got no allies, but we've got no feuds, which is kind of good, I guess. So, right, man. Colony survival is... Not colony survival. Mine colonies is such a deep mod. It's so cool. There's so much to it. Look at all this. Information. Permission. Overall happiness. My god. Builder. Children. Unemployed. Add player. Citizens. So we have four citizens. Isabel, Jeffrey, Rain, E, and Selena. But I only see three dudes. Where is our fourth colonist? Oh, I know. He must be inside this building. No. He's not. He's not in the builder's hut. What's he doing? Where is he doing? Maybe he died. I don't know. Worker hiring mode, housing assignment, show help messages, pick team color, edit colony flag. Whoa, oh my god. You can make your own flag. Well, 
Orange is our color, both on YouTube, but also honey is orange. So we're going to have a base of honey. And uh, what else is like honey? Is that like a honeycomb pattern? Oh, look at this. There's some cool logos, though. Yeah, there we go. It's the golden parrot, honey hollow. And this is a honey bird. Honey bird hollow. There we go. In fact, there we go. I love that. Honey bird hollow. Honey bird hollow. Number one. So everything is in the green so far. There haven't been any raids. There's no hunger. They're well fed. What do you mean they're well fed? I haven't been giving them any food. Well, maybe because like it's early days, they don't get that upset this early on. Not good enough, eh? No, you're not. You're not good enough, Helena, Selena, whatever your name is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and upgrade these guys' standard of living. It's your gold. I haven't had a house for over two weeks. I'm getting really upset. I've been waiting for over two weeks to get a job. I'm getting very upset. And Helena, Selena, I'd really like a house to live in. Well, okay, cool. So the uniform agreement from these guys seems to be they want a tavern. Somewhere to put down roots and call their home. I know you wouldn't live in a tavern in real life unless your dad owned the place or you owned the place. Maybe you're an innkeeper, IRL. And if you are, you're very cool. I've known some very cool innkeepers in my time. And uh, I've always got time for a good innkeeper. They're very cool dudes. So what we're going to do is um, build a tavern, of course. Create a space for a tavern first. Now, we don't have to worry too much because when we use the build tool... Wait, where is the... Oh, no. Did I leave it at home? Oh, I left the build tool at home. Be right back. Okay, so we have a build tool now. And when we try and build something, it should give us the options of tavern, warehouse, courier's hut, Forrester and Fisher. Uh, we're going to have to scroll through until we find the tavern. And then we're going to see how big this bad boy is. Because I have a feeling that, you know, a tavern's going to be a big one. Delivery man? No. Fisher man? No. Lumberjack? No. Decorations? Tavern? That's the one. And we're a big fan of Caledonia. That's how we've started. So I feel like it's how we're going to finish. This is what a tavern looks like at level one. Now, I want this area here to be a kind of town square that we're going to leave empty and we're going to do some other stuff with. But I think up here is a great place to put our tavern. The problem is at the moment, uh, it's facing the wrong way. Another thing as well. Uh, let's just turn that around. Boom. Wait. Oh, no. That's way too close to the other building here. So we've got to be careful of that. It's really ugly as well. I mean... I guess it's a tavern, and it looks okay. What does it look like when you level it up, though? Okay, so a tavern goes to level three. Oh, and this is an impressive looking thing. What a beast. Stone brick. Very fancy. But I don't quite like its position here. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise it up a bit. Bunk. Whoops, that's the wrong button. Go to level one. Raise it up with the plus. Move it over this way, like that. Put it this way towards me. Come down a tick. You can go down one. And I think this is where we're going to put our tavern. This looks like a nice spot for it. Yeah, you know what? I think that looks pretty good. The builder's going to have to dig out some of this, but we can help him out with that with our building stick, or also known as a shovel. And, uh, yeah, we won't need to kill any of these trees. You know, it looks all good to me, to be honest. So if I right-click again, and I press tick, boom, tavern build order created. And it looks like... Wait, where's our buildy gone? Where's Rainy? Right, so Rainy's gone straight over to the build hut because he's got a job to do now. He's going to pick up some stuff from his build hut. What do we put in his inventory? We've got some stuff in his inventory. He's going to pick that up and get to work on this tavern. However, there are a few things that he needs to build it. I will work on it. Okay, so his inventory. Well, we can put some of the spruce logs in here. He might like that. We can also put some spruce wood in there. 
Yeah, we get it. You need a house. But what does he need to complete his mission, his next build order? Oh, right, of course. We haven't told him to start on the build yet. Which we do by right-clicking on the tavern. Uh, build options. Uh, okay. Horizontal barrels, birch stairs, white bed, spruce slab. There's a lot of stuff here, but it all seems like simple stuff, you know? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up his inventory and uh, get him the things he needs. But also, before he gets going as well, I'm going to help him out by digging some of this dirt up for him. You know, get this stuff out of the way. So one thing I like to do is go to build options. And then what we'll do is we'll take a screenshot of this, put that on another monitor or keep it handy. And then we'll look at the screenshot and one by one collect all of these things we need. Once we have them, we can give them to the builder and he'll then use them to build what he needs to build. It can look daunting because there's a lot of items on here, but most of these are just basically made with wood. Very simple builds. The only tricky thing here is a white bed that will need a little bit of wool, especially because there's four of them. Okay, there we go. That should be everything. So now if I put this in his pack, he should commence the build. Although we'll have to press build go on the tavern block itself as well. So let's jump in. So we can do this one of two ways. We can put the items that the guy needs into this chest here, which we'll begin by doing. Everything that can go in here, we'll stack in here. And then whatever we don't have space for in here, we can then go to his inventory and put it in there. And between the two, he should have exactly what he needs to get the build completed. Okay, build options, here we go. Build building, is he gonna have everything? I do believe we've given him all the things he needs. Yeah, looks correct, build. Build request created, Honeybird Hollow. He should be on his way over. I'm not sure if we can put things into the inventory here to build it as well, but let's see what Rainy Dumbass says. Oh yeah, he's going to the build hut. He's picking up what he needs. I've started work on Tavern One. Oh, here he is. He's getting to work. Perfect. Let's watch this. Okay, and so as Mr. Dumas gets to work building our tavern, let's take a look at some of the comments you guys have thrown into the section. Now, once again, thank you for all your comments. I do take time to read as many as I can, which is most of them. And they're invaluable to me in finding tips and tricks to get through this mod pack more efficiently. So Kieran Early says, can a guy even call this a farm? without a mahogany wood source. And you know what, Kieran? You're goddamn right. I'm gonna have to check into not enough items into the items list and see exactly what mahogany things we have on this farm and how hard is it gonna be to get a source of mahogany? Because you know what? Mahogany doors, mahogany doors. Moh so moving on, Slidius says he wishes he could be my goblin slave for me and build stuff for me off scene to help me with the workload. Ah, oh, well, thank you, Slidius, but uh, now ever since we built the mechanism lab, I've kind of got a way to film myself building. Plus, once I get down mechanism and build myself a jetpack, things are gonna become much simpler in terms of building quickly. But it does feel so much more rewarding to be building legit. Kofty Burger says, hello there, General Kenobi. Ethan Hass says the Hobbit Hole basement is meant to be a tutorial for how to cure the zombie villagers. Throw the splash weakness potion and click with a golden apple and then he will turn into a normal villager. He'll even give you a discount on trading. Well, I did not know that. So next time we come across a Hobbit Hovel, we can turn the villager into a good one, cure him and get some sweet deals to boot. Thank you very much, Ethan. Darkstar X says, I think the way you've been playing is great. I prefer a little bit more open gameplay. Well, yeah, that's what I've been going for, Darkstar. Definitely I've been enjoying this mod pack so much that I just find myself playing for hours and hours and hours and editing it up into episodes. Unfortunately, that sometimes means I'm a few episodes ahead of you guys. But what I'm trying to do is make the episodes longer. So you might see some 25 to 30 minute episodes coming your way, which I hope is okay with you guys. Obviously, let me know if you prefer shorter or longer episodes. Also, storage drawers are fairly cheap and easy to set up for smaller areas. Uh, I use them for specific mod items set up into banks. 
Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Thank you very much, Darkstar. Good tips. Sam Frost suggests I should make a normal pickaxe. That must be from a few episodes ago because now I've made a Paxel, which is kind of like an all-in-one tool that works pretty well for fine mining. But yeah, you're right. Maybe I'll make a silent tools pickaxe as well for the more specific items I'm trying to look for when I'm digging for ores. Gallifrey Archive says mine colonies is amazing. Well, you know what? I agree with you. It's very cool. So all in all, some very helpful comments. Keep them coming. I'll keep on reading them and uh, they'll make the playthrough just much better and much smoother. Okay, let's jump back in and see if we can get this guy to map down some of the other more important buildings. I think we're going to do a warehouse next. <clears throat> so the inn is in place. Everything looks secure. Uh, Rainy seems to be happy. And we're ticking off the needs of our colonists one by one. So what happens inside a tavern? Uh, here we go. So we have a Rainy, du Rainy Dumas is living here. And so is Isabel L. McCarthy. Wait a minute. She's the missing colonist that we couldn't find. This is Rainy. We had a wandering guy over here called Carter. Who are you? Wait, you're new, aren't you? is an avid guard, and while fighting against hordes of zombie skeletons and those weird endermen, Carter heard about a colony which could use a help, a little help against raiders. I think he's talking about us. Oh, right, and we can recruit him for 24 books. That's cool. Oh, right, he's level seven. Oh, that's interesting. So basically, people are gonna arrive near the tavern, and if we like them, we can recruit them. That's super cool. So let's see if we can track down this other colonist. Jeffrey. He's been waiting to get a job. He hasn't got a job, but we'll find him a job soon. Maybe he can be our errand boy, a little courier. Selena, she also really wants a job. She wants a restaurant or something to eat. Okay, easy enough. So where is this mystery colonist? Well, on our map, we have some dots. And all in all, I see four. Rainy, the guard, and two others. So where is this mystery colonist? I don't know. Maybe they'll appear at some time in the future. So what building are we going to build next? Let's take a look. We've got a courier's hut, a fisherman's hut, a forester's hut, warehouse, and that's it. We haven't built a, ware uh, a restaurant yet. We could build a fisher's hut. That's a choice. But what I really want to do is get a warehouse down because with a warehouse, we can dump all of these shovels, pickaxes, pieces of wood and cobble that Rainy, Mr. Dumas, needs to build stuff with, but we don't want to carry around and, uh, and dump in his chest every time he needs a new item. So let's get the build tool out and see if we can build a warehouse. I want to build one over here next to um, the tavern. Tavern sounds good. And I think we kind of got a lot of, we've got a lot of space in this colony, so we don't need to worry too much about staying inside the bounds. In fact, oh, look at this. Oh, no way. I had no idea. But while you got the build tool out, it shows you the boundaries of your colony. That's crazy. So actually, it is kind of tight. It's not super big, but it's big enough. So let's think about putting a warehouse here. We'll scroll through here until we find warehouse. Decorations, no. Wait, what? Oh, that is cool though. You can build a well. So why is it not letting me pick? Oh, right, I didn't get it out of my uh, bag. Warehouse into my pack. And now right click, warehouse. We're gonna build Caledonian. Start as we mean to go on. And bring it one block forward. And that to me looks like a perfect spot for our warehouse. Let's get it done. So thank you very much for watching guys. We're gonna wrap it up there. What I'm gonna do between now and next episode is film this warehouse being built and maybe we can open next episode with a bit of a time-lapse build and a bit of a look at some of the comments you guys have thrown at me. So as always, thank you for watching. Consider becoming a member. Click like, subscribe, ding that bell. Take care.